everyone. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about Chinese New Year. So this year is the year of the ox and um, it, it is actually on the 13th of February. So what is Chinese New Year? Nice pictures of the dragon, aren't they? Chinese New Year is a spring festival that happens in January or February and is mostly ce celebrated in China. Chinese people come together with their families and celebrate the start of a new year. To celebrate this a special time of year, Chinese people eat festival foods and set off loud fireworks and perform traditional dances. Chinese New Year celebrations usually last for eight days. Look, they dance with a dragon, a big long dragon. Now, what's the story of Chinese New Year? Can you see this? This is a dragon here, look. So, a long, long time ago lived a monster named Nian. He lived in the mountains and every year the terrible monster would come down the mountains and into the village below. The villagers were very scared of Nian because he ate all their animals and even tried to hurt their children. Every time Nian came down from the mountains, they hid in their houses to keep their children safe from harm. Now, one year, an old man came to the village. The villagers told him how Nian scared them. The wise man protected, uh, protected the village for these nights until they had to leave. Before that, he gave them some advice. The monster is scared of the colour red and loud noises, he told them. The next night, the villagers decorated their houses red and made loud noises and set off fireworks to scare Nian away. Nian never came back to their village and again, and finally, they were safe from the monster. All those will be fireworks, look. Chinese New Year is a time to celebrate with your family and friends. For many people, they may not have seen their family for a whole year. A bit like us, really. Families celebrate by eating food, playing games together and decorating their houses. Look, this is a Chinese game, look. I think it's called Mahjong. All the family come together on New Year's Eve to eat a festive feast called Nian Yi Fan. Special dumplings filled with meat and vegetable called Jiaozi are eaten after midnight. Those look nice dumplings, don't they not? Cakes and biscuits and sweets are eaten during the festival too. A traditional cake made from rice flour, water and sugar called Nian Go is eaten at Chinese New Year. They look interesting, don't they? So gifts are given, there we go, in red envelopes. And these ones look like fire fireworks, but they they just contain money and they are kept under your pillow for seven days. And then on the eighth day, you can get the money out and that's supposed to be lucky. I think if I was sleeping, I'd rather get this one because that would be a bit lumpy under your pillow at night, wouldn't it? And also, when families get together, they might take a bowl of, sa of uh, mandarin oranges so they can give those as gifts as well in a lovely gold bowl. Let's see what else there is. If you have your booklet this week you can make these little decorations they're chinese lanterns these are a different sort of lantern not and that, that's what firecrackers look like and they explode and go pop 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 pop, pop. <laughs> the last day of the chinese new year they have a lantern festival and they set off lanterns and they all go into the sky. That would be lovely to see, wouldn't it? <clears throat> a 
and people fill the streets and enjoy music and parades, acrobats, special dancers that the Lantern Festival has to offer. Look, they're doing some dancers with fans, look. Now, there is such a thing called a dragon dance. And there's the men and they wear these big dragon masks and they have a long tail, which other people have to help them to uh, work. And sometimes the, the man can have the dragon has head on a pole. So let's see what it says about that. The dragon dance is one of the many dancers performed during the Lantern Festival. The traditional of the dragon dance began a hundred years, hundreds of years ago. They are usually made from paper, silk, and bamboo, and can take many months to finish. The dragon is held up by many performers who move its head and body so it looks like it's dancing. The dragon dance is performed to scare away evil spirits and bring good luck in the new year. And sometimes the dragons are 100 metres long. Wow. That'd be amazing. And you remember for, at the start I told you what year it was. It was the year of the ox. And these are other, all the other years that it can be. They do a new one every year. So probably next year it might be the tiger, okay? But this year is the year of the ox. So that's a little look at Chinese New Year. And the children, look, have got red costumes on as well, red clothes. So I hope you like that and I'll see you again soon. Bye.